my disability um, came upon, well, d started developing about 11 or 12 years ago, but we ac only, I only actually realised what was happening about probably about 10 years ago. And it's a form of um, polymyalgia, which essentially is a degeneration of the joints, um, the muscles around the joints. Prior to that, I, it appeared to be perfectly healthy. In the past, I'd run half marathons, I'd played in a brass band. Unfortunately, from the development of this condition, I was no longer able to support the brass band instrument. Um, so I had to give that up. Um, obviously, <laughs> I couldn't do the running. Um, and the condition is very debilitating. And I've progressed from walking sticks to walking frame to my friend here, the, mobili um, the mobility scooter. It became more and more difficult for me to get out of the house. Um, I've always driven and no, the impact on it was I could no longer drive a manual car. I had to source an automatic vehicle and it almost came impossible for me to actually stop anywhere to go shopping and I was having to work on the good graces of relatives to actually assist me with getting the family shopping till the point where I just asked them to go for me because it's almost too embarrassing to go up myself. Obviously I was aware of the blue badges but was unaware of how you went about it and I would, didn't know if I would qualify. But um, somebody suggested to me that um, I apply for the disability living allowance and you know, after some convincing um, I applied for it and was eventually successful in getting it and as part of that, of the documentation that c came out with that um, being approved for the uh, allowance, no, there was, or you can, you know, one of the things you qualify for automatically is a blue badge. And, wow. The blue badge scheme has been part of my life for as long as I can remember. It's been a very integral part of my outdoor activity, if you like, because it's crucial and quite essential to have if you wish to travel, if you wish to park, if you wish to go shopping, to the theatre or to the cinema. It's, a, it's an essential part of my uh, mobility if you like. I drive a high performance car and one of the one of the issues that often come up is uh, the double take and that's always quite amusing. So uh, yeah it's, it's I quite like that it uh, blows expectations and attacks stereotypes. The difference is amazing. Um, you know I'm able to stop somewhere with the blue badge, plenty of room for me to get out of the vehicle to unload um, my buggy from the vehicle using the, um, the hoist. It has allowed me to actually meet friends in the coffee shop who I hadn't been able to see because accessing their own homes was difficult. Um, and, I, you know, and the simpler things that people miss, like taking the nieces and nephews to the cinema, which I hadn't been able to do or needed assistance to do, I can now do by, by myself. Having the blue badge spaces and the scheme there, it, no, it, it, without it, I would still be trapped in my house. I, I would, no, no, my life would still be in the dark days of depression when, you know, it couldn't go anywhere. It has given me a life which I didn't have. I, it's something which I'd lost, missed terribly, and now I'm getting back thanks to the availability of parking through the Blue Badge scheme. Without the Blue Badge, my lifestyle would be seriously curtailed. Uh, even just going to Tesco's uh, would be far more difficult because, of course, being a wheelchair user, I need to have extra wide doors on my car. Uh, so therefore, the, most of the bays are very narrow. And as narrow as they are, it means the door doesn't open sufficiently, so I won't be able to get in and out of the car. So I guess I'd have to use taxis, so my lifestyle would be much poorer. <laughs> The key issue for me is not so much the distance from the entrance of any, any facility or any service I want to use, it's the actual being able to get in and out of the car and that's really crucial. To people who do not have a badge and park in blue badge spaces, 
and they think it's a bit of a lark or they think, why, why shouldn't I? I'd ask them to think how inconsiderate they're actually being. I would even say that to um, no, family members who have blue badge holders in their families, but they think, but they go out, they don't have them with them and think, oh, it doesn't matter, I've got a badge. No, you can walk that extra 30 seconds, that extra minute. You know, people who genuinely need the badge need it for a reason. It's not because it's a fad, it's a cultural thing. It's not, the, no, it's not the next iPhone or anything. It is something we actually need to live. And without it, you know, you know, you are robbing us of something you take for granted. <laughs>